thankful for saying that I'm beautiful. But then, the thing I heard most frequently from my childhood is that, Teresa, you are ugly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmaster and guest, is there any one of you who do not wish to be beautiful? But then, the first day in my junior school, that was the first lesson in my life. I learned that there's a truism, and that is, the pretty girls are always surrounded by everyone, but I, the odd one out, constantly at the corner, alone. Now, I tried to be proactive, fit in with the girls, mingle with them, and they said, Teresa, you're like a boy. I don't want to play with you. So fair enough, I approach the boys and they say, here, we only play with people who use the men's bathroom. <laughs> Go away. So as you can see, it was a very lonely childhood. I returned to the corner of the playground, setting so, looking downwards. Sometimes streams of crystal clear tears would drop from my eyes. And then the moment I thought, it must be because I was ugly. Now one of these days, a still silent voice arises within me and it said, Teresa, fight back. Show them that you are beautiful. He and I were both 15. Now he was not the most handsome, nor was he tall. But he had the most charming, charming smile. And every time I saw him, my heart melted. One day I cannot hold my feeling anymore, and I asked him, Hey, is there any girl you like? And he said, and I half jokingly, perhaps you read my mind, in a semi diplomatic manner, and said, Hey, Teresa, well, yeah, she's beautiful, but uh, not you, ugly tomboy. So my heart instantly sank. And again, I returned to my corner, standing still, streams of tears came down from my eyes. Now, have you ever had a moment in your life where you feel so lost in life that you would do anything to look for that very answer that you're so seeking for? I had that moment. Within the first month in my university, I tell myself, I don't want anyone to call me ugly or tomboy anymore. I want to be the most beautiful Teresa that you ever know of. Well, actually, the martial art guys in the uh, martial art department greatly helped me in making that decision. But instead of going to the Nicholas Duke Bookshore and get the fashion magazine, what I did was that, like any oddball would do, Google in front of my computer. And out of all the worst combinations I used, there were four words there I searched. Teresa, the most beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you happen to be a smartphone user, and um, with that one minute of silence, you can actually try the following, inputting these four words. And uh, sure enough, this should be the picture. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Guarantee not me. <laughs> right? Google has this moment of being profound. Uh, although this method of finding what's beautiful is a bit bizarre. Thanks, Google. She was seven years old. A short, chubby, and a short hair girl. That was Ria. I met her in one of the recent volunteering events. And she was not remarkable until a group of guys shouted to her, Hey, you ugly, go away. Then she retreated back to the corner, sobbing, looking down. Now, a lot of my other friends, fellow volunteers, tried to console her but failed. Then, daringly, I approached her and I said the following. Hey, you, look at me. You think that I'm a grown-up adult, right? You think I'm a strong woman. But then, have you known that when I was young, I was constantly bullying, name-calling, and everyone called me ugly? She seemed very astonished. Then I said, you know what? As a girl, I learned one thing. Beauty is not within your surface appearance, nor your age, nor your gender. It has something to do with your inner self. Everyone is unique. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. And at that moment, from her blank face, streams of tears rushed down into her eyes. And then slowly and hesitantly, I took her back to the group of boys that she was playing with, and then she was happy. Now, miraculously, at that moment in time, a part of me also miraculously healed. And the ugly, unloved child within me also vanished and popped into smoke. Now, when we think about Mother Teresa, we will think about her as a carer, right? Not a fighter. But I have my own unique opinion. In my opinion, the reason why Mother Teresa
trees are so beautiful is because she chose to fight against some of the deepest and most acute misery in the world, poverty, hunger, and also diseases. And she touched millions of lives. Elevating suffering, that is beautiful. Touching lives, very beautiful. And changing the life of millions of people around the world, very beautiful indeed. So how about you, ladies and gentlemen? How will you show your beauty and inspire the world, touching every soul that you come across? Now, before I completed my speech, I'd like to leave you with a poem of Mother Teresa. If you find serenity and happiness, they will be jealous. Be happy anyway. If you find, uh, if you do good things in life, they will forget about it tomorrow. Do good anyway. If you give them the best you have in life and it's not enough, give them the best in life anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, be beautiful and strive for the true beauty where which touches everyone's heart. Back to you.